Hello my Spores, it's Hey Keisha and I'm here from Life Ministries to tell you guys about this wonderful um, experience that I had last year and I'm so pumped up to share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this segment. Um, if you have not followed me before or subscribed to my channel, please, please go ahead and subscribe. This year is going to be a big year for Life Exchange Ministry or Life Exchange Coaching. So go ahead hit your subscribe button and your notification bell. Remember to hit that so you can be notified whenever I post my videos. Give you a chance to do that. Do that now. So guys, I'm so excited, um, just so excited, overjoyed to let you guys know what has been going on. If you've been following me, which there's not a lot of people been following me or subscribed to my channel, but that is okay. I've been going through a lot in 2020. I lost my job, been looking for a job, almost found some job, got some, say, pre-offers before COVID. COVID came in it. Now those companies like, no, they're not ready to hire to put on anyone on board. And then I started looking, 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 and nothing was going right. I've gone to some interviews. Some people said, yeah, I like you. We want you on board. And then they sent me an email to say, no, we found someone more better. You probably hear this a lot. And if you haven't heard my story, you can watch my other videos. I went on fast people. Fasting is good you need breakthrough prior and fasting help so i went on a journey of prayer and fasting and i think in one of the videos i mentioned that i am going on a fasting that i don't even know what day i was going to complete it i don't know how long it was going to go on for in the back of my head though i had i was thinking probably it will go on for 20 21 days so i was fasting 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 about it can be frustrated it's like sometimes you feel like you want to give up but you have to just push through it push through it you want to eat the devil try to like put doubt in your mind and try to do whatever to let you stop because he doesn't want you to have that breakthrough and i remember Honestly, I gave out on the 12th day of fasting and I was really mad at myself because I was like, oh my gosh, this is only 12 day. And I remember I was just all that week before I get, get up and go to the kitchen, before I get up and even look at the kids, I just get them up and tell them class time. And all that entire week, I lock myself into my room. I listen to service. I listen to the worship um, songs or worship services and i pray and i remember i was i went down on my knees to pray and something said put something over your head cover so i, I put one of my um i have my little cloth my head wrap and i throw it over my head sometimes i throw the blanket over my head and i just kneel down and every time i get on my knees and start praying i feel like i'm getting closer and closer to god and while praying it's like I just, I don't know, I feel like so close. I feel like I was literally at the knees of Jesus praying. I could see myself on like at the knees stooping down in front of Jesus praying. And I remember this particular day, the last day, the 12th, I was like, I was so frustrated. And I lay down in the bed and um, the phone will ring and then I'll look and then it's either companies are calling me in regards to interviews. And it was so frustrating because I'm going to some of these interviews and I'm like buying gas which I don't have no money and I'm you know like putting all my effort into going and trying to do everything I prayed before I went into this interview I, I just don't know what else to do and when I gone to the interviews nothing it's like nothing I don't get the job so it was a bit frustrating for me and I remember um this guy called well i got a call and i thought it was bill people and i was like irritated at bill people and i stopped answering my phone or i would just yell at them the phone rang and I, I i applied for some remote positions so the phone rang and i remember applying for a job in alberta and it sh the phone came up it had an alberta number so i assume it was that remote job that i applied for so something said to answer the phone i was skeptical and it's like 
the Lord spoke to me and said, answer the phone, I answer the phone. And this guy was, you know, he goes, you know, you're two months behind on your, your bill. And I'm like telling him, okay, this much is what I get. This much is for my mortgage. If you were in my position, what would be your priority? And then he goes, I can help you. I said, no, you can't. And then, you know what? I was just getting for so frustrated because you cannot help me. I said, what don't you understand? I do not have a job. You cannot help me. He goes, Keisha, calm down. I can help you. I said, no, you can't. And then, you know, he goes, I know someone. If I can't, I know someone who can help you. Do you mind me forward your information over to them? And then I'm like, how are you going to help me? And he goes, you know, this person can do this and that for you. And I'm like, I, how am I going to make payments? I am not working. This is what you're not understanding. And he goes, Keisha, give me a chance. I can help you. He forwarded my calls over to this guy. Um, we spoke. I gave him some information. And I continued praying. I continued fasting. And... I felt like I was in a dream. God gave me a breakthrough. Did I tell you I almost lose my car? Bailiff was coming to my house to take the car away. Knocking the door, I had to literally hide my car over blankets, park it in the garage, throw a blanket over it, pretend as if it was pretend as if I wasn't living at my house. I was renting it to someone else, and this is not me because I didn't want it for them to take my car where I live live there is no bus there is no taxis so i need a vehicle i have my four children i need a vehicle to get by if i get a job i need a vehicle and i'm like god this is where you need to step in you said you will never leave me neither you will you forsake me God, you took me out of the city where there is bus, there is taxi, and you brought me here. And I know you brought me here for a reason. And I was just so ashamed because I was wondering if my neighbor sees what was going on. There was bailiff, there was um, tow truck people in my driveway ready to come and take the car away. Oh Lord, I had to pay some money, take money from the mortgage that I have to pay my mortgage to pay the bailiff guy, not to pay the bailiff guy, to pay the car company, the bank. And when I call my, um, the bank that I have my mortgage, which is accent, if I could please, if you could please defer my mortgage for one month so I can get caught up. And I, and they already knew I wasn't working or anything. And they said, if you miss a payment, if you miss a payment, we're going to foreclose your home. Foreclosure repossession oh my gosh i'm like god you have to step in i went back and i fast and i prayed and i cried and i fast and i prayed and i cried and i fast and i prayed and that day again it was just for i'm like mixing up my story but that day the 12th day of my fasting when i gave up because I'm getting emails from this company that they're going to repossess the car. I'm getting emails back and forth from the bank that I have my mortgage with that they're going to foreclose if I miss. And I am going to miss. Why? Because I put that money onto the car. And the guy said, called and he said, this is what we're going to do. Blah, 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 blah. How much? My house that I bought in February of last year doubled in price. And let me tell you something before I even go even further. I lost my job in February. February, my breakthrough was in November. October, I, um, I was fine. February, March, April, May, June, July. I was fine. I had some savings had that I was living off of. I, I was fine. And I think maybe I've overspent during that time when I had my, cause I was confident I was gonna get a job soon. Cause I've never been out of a job for too long. Two months is a max. And if it's, and that's if I lay lay for the first two months, if I decide that, you know what? I wanna chill for the first two months. And whew, guys, I'm so excited. And let me tell you, whew, I don't even remember where I reach right now. Then the 12th day of my fasting, I went into the kitchen. I gave up. I was like, I give up. I didn't know that that was a day that God wanted for me to stop. I felt like I gave up and I was so angry at myself. I went into the kitchen. I got something to eat. And like after I prayed and everything, say about two, three o'clock. And I was in the kitchen doing the dishes from the lunch, the kids them eat. And after I talked to that guy and everything, and um, I was in the kitchen and then 
I was, I am a person that walks around my house with anointed oil and I anoint my house because the mortgage has to be paid. I touch each and every, like in my uh, mechanical room, my bills need to be paid. The electric cards I touch because my electric bill needs to be paid. The eater I touch because the eat, like the gas in my house needs to be paid. And I claim those stuff as I go around in the house. And I went outside of the house, the perimeter of the house, and then I touch it with the oil in my hand. Like, I've been doing that ever since I moved in. So the scripture came to me, greater is E that is in me than E that is in the world. And I was like, when that came to me, I started crying. I just started crying. I feel peace, a peace because I was so upset. Put it that I was so upset at God. And it says, and the word came to me, greater is E that is in me than E that is in the world. And again, another voice said to me, go and walk around the house, walk around the house. But instead of walking the way you usually walk, reverse it, go the opposite way. Cause the devil know, he knows your routine. So we're gonna trick him by going the opposite way with the oil. And I did that and man, when I was finished, I stood up on my porch and I just couldn't contain my tears and my overwhelmingness. The spirit just took over my body. And I was just out there because the kids that were in the house and I was trying to not letting them see what I was going through or the pain that I was in. And I did that. That that was probably the 11th day. Yeah, probably the 11th day that I did that or the 12th day. Either the 11th or the 12th, 12th day that I did that. As I said, I have a conversation with this man that this guy put me through and we talk. I don't want to rumble on for too much, but guys, fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. Build a relationship with God. Read your Bible. I am here to tell you guys that today, not even today, but November, I would say around November 11th, November 11th, November 19th, November 19th, my mortgage has been paid in full. What I mean, my mortgage has been paid in full. I don't have to pay mortgage every month. I don't have to pay mortgage monthly. Thank you, Jesus. My mortgage debt has been paid off in full. My car payment that they wanted to repossess is paid off in full. I have no car payment paying off. Some of my credit card has been paid in full. There's some that I'm making payment right now. My light bill, my gas bill, whatever. My kids, they now, now started working and I you probably see that videos. They've been working for about three months now. So one of them take one of them is paying the gas bill, one of them is paying the light bill. And so I am so grateful. Like God, I, I wrote on my Facebook page when I was going through this that God is going to blow my mind. I don't know if I speak it into existence, but I said he's going to blow my mind. And this is the second time for 2020 that my mind was blown away, that God blow my mind away. He said he will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can even think of or imagine. I did not imagine that my mortgage for my house will be paid off in full. I could not imagine that my mortgage will be paid off in full as in not my December mortgage. I'm not paying when I said I'm not paying any mortgage. I am not paying any mortgage. When I said I have no car payment to make, I am not. It's all being paid in full. God used a bill person to call me. He uses that guy to call me, to send, uh, to give me a breakthrough. And the funny thing is when the person that he put me through, he goes, how long have you known Ben? I've never met Ben before. I didn't even know his name was Ben. And I'm like, who's Ben? And he goes, the guy that put you through to me. And I said, I don't know Ben. He called me for a bill payment, which I couldn't even pay. I don't know, I, I may have to find out who this Ben is. I may have to um, track it back, but God uses him to give me that breakthrough. I gave up that day. I completely gave up. I f And God put the word greater is he that is in me. When I said, God, you said you will never leave me, neither will you forsake me. Now you left me. Now when I needed you, right when I needed you, you leave me. 
and I went downstairs and I started eating because I get frustrated. I cut. <sighs> And then I was like 12 days, 12 days, 12 days of 12 days of fasting and prayer, 12 days. Never heard of that. It's either three days, seven days, or 21 days. I'm like, what does this mean? What does this mean? And I went and I was watching TV one day and a pastor was preaching and I think God uses that pastor. Pastor Keon Anderson. And he was preaching and then he mentioned, he was talking about 12. The number 12 and he mentioned jesus has 12 disciples and i'm like thank you jesus because i was beating up myself that i broke my fasting and i shouldn't have and you know the woman with the issue of blood 12 years that she had this problem 12 years and she was ill within the 12 years Ooh. and um the little girl that was six she was 12 year old the one that jesus yield she was 12 year old that they thought that she died she was 12 and i was like thank you jesus thank you 12 days of fasting guys whew, you will feel like you want to give up but don't give up and this is why i i kept looking for jobs and i couldn't find it and god spoke to me and this is why i am doing coaching program that i'm doing that i business that i started this month because i I've experienced this but if I had like a coach with me to just cheer me on like I talk to friends and I talk to family but it's just negative stuff it's like it's just pure negative stuff it's like their thoughts and mine was different and even God said in, in his in the Bible in this word he said your thoughts is not my thoughts and and my thoughts is not your thoughts and their thoughts at the time wasn't my thoughts and like they're thinking all kind of stuff oh i have an extra room here if you want to come like i don't want to hear that so you know i just started started this coaching business where i just want to encourage people and i want to just sit with them through through that breakthrough through their for them to get their breakthrough for my clients to get their breakthrough i want to be able to help someone to get closer to god i want to be able to help someone to get their breakthrough their financial breakthrough when they're no longer paying for their mortgage when they're no longer paying for car payments those were the biggest bills like i had yes i have to pay my gas my lights and you know my water no i don't pay water bill my water is free those are the biggest and most like it feels like a whole weight was lifted off of me and the devil is works in a way where even though all of those was paid off he was coming at me with different things he started to put different fear and different doubts of stuff in my mind and then i realized that you just don't want me to be happy right you just don't want me to be happy so you know what i did i signed a contract and i said you have no i give the devil an eviction you have no room in my house. You have no room in my heart, in my children's heart. You have no place in this town that I live in. No, I give him a vic eviction notice. And ever since I gave him an eviction notice, I, I just, every day, I just keep on reminding myself, like, no, no room in my heart, no room in this house. You are evicted yes you are i divorce you you are so long gone like i don't need you in my life guys if you need my help i'm telling you this i have a coaching business and i can help you i also have a thing where i want to be able to help someone every three months i want to give i want to give because ben gave to me Ben so a seed. He didn't give me anything financially, but he was able to help me where I don't have any payment. And then I talk about my uh, my breakthrough. And after that, I went through. I went on a three day fast, and I got almost four thousand dollars in my bank account, which is still sitting in my bank account because guess what? I don't have a mortgage to be paid. I don't have car payments to be paid. Yes, I have other bills to pay if you guys need help if you guys have questions if you guys reach an area where you're doubting god i want you to contact me dm me if, like email me all my information will be there i want to help people i want to help people reach where i have reached get that financial breakthrough i've gotten so many financial breakthrough for in 2020 
but it was such a, a big gap so in between i was going through a warfare so i got my house and that's another story that i keep talking about and at the end of the year i got the house paid off in full and my car paid off in full what else can i ask god for a financial breakthrough and now he's putting me into the path where i'm able to pursue the career so i didn't want it to cut it into two videos so this is where i'm going to stop i hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month and a prosperous year see you in my next video